Hi, my name is Neil Curtis and this video tutorial is showing you how to make your own amazing looking website. We're using WordPress as a core platform to build this website. But we're moving away from free themes to using premium themes because at the end of the day we want a premium looking website that is on par with what you would get from a professional web agency. So for these reasons we're going to use the Genesis framework which is a platform that works on top of WordPress and lets the integration of a premium Genesis child theme and in this case we're using the Agency Pro child theme. The Genesis framework along with the Agency Pro theme gives you a top end website using the highest and latest web coding standards and it's also fully mobile responsive that means it will look perfect on a large screen, a laptop, a tablet and also a mobile or smartphone so therefore where whoever looks at this website will have a fantastic user experience. So carry on watching this tutorial and you'll see how to build up this fantastic professional standard website by yourself. So the amazing looking website we're going to work through now in this tutorial and see how to create ourselves is the Agency Pro theme which comes from the company Studio Press who provide premium WordPress themes and because we want to make an amazing professional standard website we're using a premium theme here. So it's a large background image style theme and we've just got this simple but clear title and tagline and then we've got this link here which scrolls down to a portfolio style image gallery and you see these are have a nice hover effect that show some text and these are actually feature images on posts and if we click on these it takes us through to the post in question. But then below that we also have a selection of recent articles which again have the title and text but there's no featured image this time and again these have a nice hover effect and link through to the post that's associated with them. So this is a great theme to for anyone that's got a blog kind of structure where there's recent content going to be added all the time or just want a nice simplistic but modern visual website with great images and looks amazing and professional. And if you scroll down we've just got these footer areas here where you can have some standard information or links to your social media. This website is also mobile responsive which means that the page and the layout of the page adapts to the screen size that is being viewed on. So if you minimize the screen, you'll see this is what it would look like on a mobile phone and it, and it still looks fantastic. And you see instead of having the grid of images, we now have a single column because each of the sections stacks below each other. And you see it's very readable and the structure and layout is great for mobile devices. So this is a demo website we're going to work through now and create for ourselves and if you follow along you can have this amazing website all to yourself. So we're here we have a fresh install of WordPress and now we need to get the Genesis framework and the Agency Pro premium child theme onto it. So the first thing we need to do is download the Genesis framework and the Agency Pro theme and you get these from StudioPress at studiopress.com. If you go to Studio Press website, you log in to your back end, My Studio Press. So you would need to sign up to Studio Press in order to get these. So we log in. And then when you're in the back end of your Studio Press admin area, you can Go to downloads. Now we need to download the Agency Pro theme. So let's click on download. Also the Genesis framework, which is here. So once they're downloaded from the Studio Press website, go back to our WordPress website and we go into the dashboard and then we go appearance 
and themes. When you do a fresh WordPress install, you get some default WordPress themes in there, but we want to add these new premium themes for our professional standard website. So we go to add new at the top, or you can click on the plus button here. So we'll do that. And then you go upload theme. You have to choose or browse to where your theme is. And ours is in downloads. And then here we have the Genesis framework in the Agency Pro. So we need the Genesis framework first because that sits on top of WordPress and works with WordPress and it provides the platform for the child feeds to work. So we install Genesis. And we don't need to worry about activating it because it automatically gets activated when you activate the child theme. So we return to the theme pages and we'll add the Agency Pro child theme. There we go. So we will activate this one. And then we get this Welcome to Genesis page because we've activated Genesis as well. And we see we get this extra tab here with settings down the side, which we'll look at later. So now if we head back to the front end of our website, we have the default layout for this Agency Pro theme. And this is where we can start styling. So to get to this stage with the blank Agency Pro theme and Genesis framework on there, you would need to, first of all, get web hosting, and then install WordPress on there and then get the Genesis framework and the Agency Pro child theme and install them. Or there is also the option of going to Webthena at www.webthena.com, which is a partner with neilcurtis.me. And this is a solution, a platform for anyone wanting to create their own website. Here you get hosting, WordPress, the Genesis Framework, and the premium child theme you want, plus support, all set up and ready for you and handed over to you so you can start straight away customizing your website. Okay, so now we're ready to go and we'll start to customize this website to make it look like the demo site. Get rid of that and when we don't, we've got some default widget areas all over this page and there are some default widgets in there. So we're gonna go and clean these up, so we've got a perfectly blank canvas to work from. So we go into appearance and widgets. So this particular theme has several different widget areas. It's got our header right, which is in the header area of your website. We've also got the primary and secondary sidebars, which are common to most WordPress sites. But we've also got this home top, home middle, home bottom, which are all specific Agency Pro areas, widget areas on the home page. Then we've also got footer one, two, and three, and also after entry. So I'm just going to drag out all of these widgets that are in the header right area, which WordPress put in there by default when it installed it. So now we'll go back to the home page, and you'll see we've got a nice clean area to start styling. So we'll just go over how this particular website theme is laid out. So we'll just go into the dashboard and I'll go appearance and widgets. You see we have home top, home middle, home bottom, then footer one, footer two, footer three. And these are the main widgets that show on the home page. So if we go back to the demo site, we can look at this in the real case scenario. So this whole section here is the home top widget. So this background image is on the whole website. That's not part of the widget, but this text, welcome to our agency. And we bring ideas to life through thoughtful, creative design solutions. And then this button, this is all in the home top widget. And if we scroll down to the next section, so we have our work and then we've got these six featured images of posts and this relates to this home middle widget. So that's shown up there. And if we go down, we've got these recent articles and we've got these six areas to go to recent posts. 
this is our home bottom air widget area and then finally we have our three areas here and these are footer one footer two and footer three so this is footer one footer two and footer three so we have to just add content into these different widget areas and we will build up our website we'll go ahead now and add some content to this home top widget area so what we need to do we only need some text in here so i'll drag a text box just a standard text box which is in wordpress by default just click on it and drag it into here it opens up and we'll give it a title so we'll just copy exactly what's on the demo site so welcome to our agency then we've got the words we bring ideas to life through thoughtful creative design solutions then we've got this button so we give it the title of welcome to our agency and then we click on this main text area and we want the writing to be a bit bigger we want it to be header three text size we'll put h3 and we'll see And we put in those words that we want and just put the closing header three tag and then we'll put this divider three dots and then we want it to link when you we want a button to show next so we want this button that says our work and when you click it we want it to automatically scroll down to the next widget area and to make this happen we have to put ahref equals in quotes home dash middle and actually I missed out a hash there and this says that's where it wants it to go to so it wants to go to the home middle widget and we will say class equals button then we can put this closing arrow here and then we wanted to say what we wanted to say so our work and then you know this is a little arrow there and to get the little arrow symbol we put in the code closing a tag which goes with a ref which says it's a link and then we have to remember to click automatically add paragraphs just to space things out nicely so we'll save this text widget and then we'll visit the home page of our site and there you see we've got these words in now and this nice button if we compare that to our live website it's pretty much the same except the background image is different because this is a custom background that I put in on the demo site and this is a default background which looks nice on our default WordPress site that we're doing now so we've got this button and we click it and it doesn't go anywhere and the reason it doesn't go anywhere is because we haven't actually put anything in the middle widget area yet so we can go and do that now so we go back into our widgets area so I can go dashboard like we did last time or I'll just go down here to the quick link for widgets and then we want to do this home middle so uh, I'll open that up there's nothing in there and we're actually going to use this Genesis featured post widget that's in here so I'll drag that in and then we have a whole load of options here so we give it a title so on our demo site it's called our work and of course for you this could be something completely different but we're just going to recreate this site here so we have a title of our work and it automatically capitalizes these letters so it doesn't really matter if you capitalize them here and we've got a category to show and we've actually haven't got any categories set up yet because we haven't actually created any posts so we'll just leave that we can come back and change that later and we'll say we want to show six post because here we've got six posts 
so he could show more if he wanted or less and we'll leave all of this and we do want to show a featured image so we'll tick that and we want it to be this home middle size so these are all set up for you already with this theme so we want 380 times 380 we say alignment none and we say we want to show the post title this is when you hover over it so we want to show the post title and then we leave this by default and we'll say we want to show content but we are limited to 180 characters so that will pull the first 180 characters from the post that it's showing and we'll say read more or here it just says more so we'll just put more okay and then we can leave the rest default so we'll save that and as i said we haven't actually created any posts yet so this won't show anything but we'll have a look so it does go down to the home middle middle widget now but there's nothing in there so we have to go ahead and create some posts so that's what we'll go ahead and do now create six new posts quickly just so we can get this laid out nicely but again you will have your own posts in here with your own images and your own text but this for now we'll put in some default posts so we can go into the dashboard and we'll go posts add new we give it a title so example post one I just need to put in some content here so I'm just going to go ahead and visit post number one on this demo site I'm just going to copy this content to save me typing it in now and this is just waffle that's not really important but of course you will have a proper post in here so I'll paste all this content in here and remember it's going to use the first 180 characters of this and also the post title and we need to set a featured image and I've actually got six images already ready for these posts and I've resized all the images to 380 by 380 just so I know they fit perfectly but they don't have to be these exact dimensions but I've done them to these exact dimensions because these are the size of the images on these on this home page so I've got these six images here so I'll just save a draft of that just to be safe in case something happens now I'll go down to select the featured image and we'll go upload and I will find this folder with these images so I'll say put image one in here and I'm not going to bother filling up this metadata here but you should fill this out with appropriate titles and alt texts in particular then we go to categories so at the moment I'm categorized because we haven't got any categories so I'm going to add a category and I'm going to put featured work as a category because I'm going to select in the widget the post widget that we set up before I'm going to select say show this particular category so I'm going to uncheck and categorized and now I'm going to go and publish this And if I right click and open the front page of the website in a new window so now if we go down see now we've got our image but actually you can see it's showing all the text here not just the first 180 characters so that means we must have done something wrong in our widget so we'll just go to appearance and then widgets we go middle I'll work content type and actually we've got show content and we need to select show content limit so it uses 180 characters so that's what we did wrong there and also while we're here we've got show what category we say all categories but now we've got this featured work so we'll say only show the featured work category so if we specify a different category then it wouldn't show up but we do want it to show featured work so I'll save this now if we refresh this page you'll see it looks much nicer now if you hover over it just shows the content we want to if we click it we visit the actual page so you see we've got a primary sidebar on the side 
and the default setup for this theme is to show the content on the left and then the primary sidebar on the right and we'll edit this primary sidebar later on. We don't actually have the image in the post itself, we only have the image as a featured image so we can go and edit this and we can put an image in here just to make this look nicer. So if I click here, so I want to add the media and click add media. We've already got this image in here. And we want to say I want to align it to the left and the text will wrap around it. I don't want it to link to anything and I want to show the full size image in certain post. And there it goes. So we'll update our page, our post. Now if we view this, there we have it, the image with the text wrapping around it. Okay, so we have to go ahead now and quickly make five more posts so we've got all of these areas filled in just like the demo website. So I'm just creating a new post and I've speeded this up times six just to get it done quickly. But what I'm doing is I'm just copying the text from the first post and using the same text in all the other posts and then just adding a new title and a new featured image in exactly the same way as what we did with the original first post. So now if you have a look, you see we have our six feature images and if we click on them they all lead through to the post. So next we need to move on to if you visit our demo website we need to move on to this recent article section which have the title and the text of the post but they don't have the feature image so they're just laid out in a text grid. So that's what we can go ahead and do now. Okay, so we'll go back into the dashboard, into the widgets under appearance and widgets. So we want this home bottom section. And again, we're gonna use a Genesis featured post to show some posts. This time we'll have any in the uncategorized section. We want to show six again, but you can show as many as you want. You can show three, you can show nine, it's up to you. And then this time we're not going to show a featured image because we're just going to have the text and title. So you want a title and we'll say we'll show the post date this time just to give a bit more information. So we'll get rid of that. And again, we'll show content limit of 180 characters like before and this time we have read more we leave it as read more and that will do so we'll save that but like last time we haven't got these extra posts so we need to create some more posts and we'll cut we'll uncategorize all of these new posts So I'm just going to use the same text as before. And call this next next example post one. We're not going to put a featured image because we haven't got that, but we're going to check it as uncategorized because we want it to show up in this section. And we'll publish this. So now if I view the site. We now have one post in this section and we didn't give it a title, forgot to give it a title. So we'll go back, add a title to this widget area and we'll add six new posts just to fill out this area. So we'll go to widgets, our bottom section, I'll give it a title of recent articles. Hopefully you're seeing how you can choose to show different categories and put different information here to change the layout of your home page. You'll see this one also shows the date here because we this time we said show the date and it says read more and not just more. 
and if you select it click it it goes through to the site okay so we'll go back to the home page and then I'll start adding some new posts again I've sped this up by six times just to make things quicker and this is the exact same process as we've just done copying the text in, writing a new title, selecting the category and then publishing it. So there you go, we now have these six recent articles on the site. The site is starting to shape up now and we're almost finished the formatting of this home page. We just need to do these footer areas now. So we'll go back into the dashboard. We'll go appearance and widgets. And we'll add some stuff to these footer areas. So if we have a look at the agents, the demo site, see we've got these three areas. The first one, the first two are just text boxes and the last one has got these social icons in there so we'll go and do these first two footer areas for a one for a two and this is just for example has got with the location of where this company is and then the next one's just saying if you've got a project you want to do get in touch so we'll go ahead and do that now so in footer one we'll just drag a text widget in there We'll give it a title of where to find us. So just put in some random words there. Now click the automatically add paragraphs and we'll save that. And then in footer two, I'll put another text area. And in this one, it'll be hires. Looking for some expert help, let's get in touch for a quote. Let me save that. So we have these two widget areas here, and the final one has got these social shares and a bit of text too. And for that, we need a plugin to add those social icons. So if we go into the dashboard and go plugins and say add new, we'll do a search for a plugin called Simple Social Icons. This is top one here. Let's click install. We'll activate this plugin. And then we'll go back to the widgets. And it's in this footer three area. You see now we've got this simple social icon, so we'll drag that in there. We won't give it a title, and we'll say open the links in your window. Just leave all these by default. You see we've got all these different fields for different things. So we can have an email in here, and I'm just going to put anything because we haven't got email set up for this site. But you will have an email contact so you can put that in there it could go straight to a contact form on your site you put in your facebook id and again i'm just going to put some random letters but you can put your facebook page here if you have one and a google plus if you have one or if you've got any of these things associated with your site finally do twitter we'll save that we we'll minimize this and above that we're going to put a text field title of join us socially and 
and just put some words. Please connect with us on social media or email us. So we'll take a look at our site to see how that looks. And there you go, we've got our social icon buttons. So I'm going to go back into that widget area just to show you a little bit more about that social share widget. You've got things in here you can change different parameters so we can make them bigger. So we'll say we want them 60. You can give them a border. You can see if you want them aligned left or right. You can change the color of the font or the color of the hover button or the background color and the background hover. So you've got a lot of control over these. So there I've just quickly changed the size of these icons and we're going to see the difference that makes. And now we have a large social share icons that go from gray to black when you hover over them. Okay, so that's basically the home page done. And it's very similar to our demo site. Our demo site has a menu here. We're not gonna have the same things in the menu, but I'll show you how to add a menu to your site now. So to do that, again, you can go in the quick links here, it's menus, or you can go into your, dash, into your main dashboard. And if you go, appearance and the menus is there too so we click on that and you need to create a menu so you give a menu a name so we can just call this primary nav menu you can call it whatever you want and we'll say create menu and now you can add things to this menu and you add pages but we haven't got any pages set up on this site yet, or you can add custom links, or you can add categories. So we'll add the category featured work in there. So just select it, then go add to menu. So now we have the featured work category there. And also I'm gonna create some custom links. So I'll just say contact, and then I'll just put a random email link there which is not a real page but just to show how we can create links here I'm going to say add to menu and finally we'll have an about again we don't have a page so I'll just put in a made up address here so now we have our menu so we've got featured word contact about and you can drag these into different positions so we can start with the about featured work and contact then you can say where do you want this menu to show so you can either show it as a primary secondary menu a primary navigation menu secondary navigation menu which show up in different areas of the site and i'll just show you that now so sec primary and save and we'll visit the page in a new tab so this is a primary menu, menu, this is where it shows up. So you see, we have these three areas. If I change that to secondary, refresh the page, you'll find that menu is now at the very bottom. And finally, we can say we don't want to show it there, so I'll save that. But we actually have a special widget area which is called header right and we've got this custom menu widget so we just drag that into the header right and give it a title if you want we're not going to then we'll say select this primary nav menu that we've just set up so go save and now if we refresh our page i'll go back to the top see the nav menu goes in this top header region and that is something that always stays on the top of the site with this particular design so it's quite a good place for navigation if you click on it click on featured work and you see it's showing us all the posts because they're in the featured work category okay so now the home page is just about done we'll have a look at styling the individual post pages or posts or pages so we said before we've got our main content area on the left and we've got the primary 
sidebar widget area on the right. So if we go to the demo website and I click on one of the posts, you'll see in a primary sidebar we have some useful stuff. First of all, we've got this email newsletter sign up box. So someone puts a name and email and they can subscribe to your email list. We've got recent recent posts area. We've also got an author box or an about us area. So we'll add those in now. For this newsletter, we need a special plugin, which is called the E News Extended plugin, and it's a special Genesis plugin. So we go back to our dashboard of our site, and then we go plugins, and we'll go add new. And we'll do a search for the E News Extended. And it says top one with a five star rating, the Genesis E News Extended. And we'll activate it. And if we go appearances and widgets again, got a primary sidebar widget area here, which I'll open up. And then we have the Genesis E News Extended widget here that we've just installed via that plugin so we drag it in and then we've got some options here so we can give it a title in this case it's newsletter and we've got some text before the input fields and some text after the input fields so we just say Just put some text there saying pop your email in here and get our fantastic newsletter delivered. I won't put anything after the sign up fields. So we've got a few fields now, and these are fields that link up your form, your widget form, e news form to your actual email client. So if you use somebody to handle your email list, such as Aweber or MailChimp, you can put in their details here. So we've got a form action, and you can go to your email clients account and you can get this form action code to put in here if you need it and also you put in the merge tags or the short codes of the different fields such as email and first name that you need to collect and this again links up to your email client i'm not going to go through how to link things up to aweber or mailchimp here but tutorials and guides will be made in the future. So if you want to hear about these, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button in the top right corner of this video or head over to my website at www.neilcurtis.me and sign up to my email list and whenever I do new guides and tutorials, you'll hear about them straight away. But for now, I'm just going to put in some words here, form action. But you will have special code to go in here that you can get from your client itself. And then I'm going to say I want the email field. So I'm going to put the merge tag email, which is actually what I use in my MailChimp account. And then F name for say I want to click the first name. Let me go down here and these are the input text. This is what shows up in a box to prompt people to put things in. So I'm going to, it's going to show the first name and then email address. I'll get rid of that dash there. And instead of go, I'm going to have submit. So this is what shows in the box we'll see now. So I'll save this. Then I'll go over to my website and we'll have a look to see what it looks like. So I'll just click on a post. Now you see in the sidebar, we've got this newsletter sign up box. So it prompts for the first name, email, and it's got the submit button. So like I say, we haven't configured it to link up to the email client, but if you did, when someone puts the first name and email and submits, they will get added to your email list, which is great for your website. Okay, so next we want a recent posts tab here. So we'll go back into our dashboard. We'll go back to our widgets. So see how easy it is to add things to your site through this widget structure, which is one of the main features of WordPress, makes it so popular. So we want recent posts, slide that in here. We'll say we want to show just three most recent posts and we'll say display the date and then we'll have a title of recent we'll call it articles to make it sound a bit more professional and we'll save that 
again we'll go to our site and we'll have a look and we'll just click on any of these posts because it's a primary sidebar widget shows up in all posts so each one will have this sidebar so whatever you do will show in all pages and there we go now we've got our resource articles and we've got the links and we've got the date that we've done and if you click on one of these again it takes you through so we'll go over to the demo site and have a look so the final thing is this about us box which is an author box we'll go ahead and add that now and again this is done in the primary sidebar widget because this is what this area is and we've got this genesis user profile so one of the great features of using the genesis framework and their themes is that you get these all of these default nice genesis features so we'll drag this genesis user profile into our box and then it says so we'll say about me this is what this box is it says select a user so we've only got this agency pro user does it want to use a gravatar we'll say we'll use a large gravatar the gravatar left then we can either use the author bio which comes from the user profile or we can use custom text I'm going to use custom text and say so I just wrote some muffle there hello my name is Neil please browse the website and get in touch with any questions or queries of course you can write more and then we've got this option choose your extended about me page from the list below and this page will be linked at the end of the message but we haven't got any pages so we haven't got this option so if save that if you go through to our site and again click on the post to see your sidebar there it is it's pulled in my gravatar and it's got a little bit of information about me and this gravatar gra gravatar.com is a website and it's run by the same people as wordpress.com and basically lets you associate profile pictures images with email addresses so the email address i've put in for this website which is in my user profile is an email address i've registered with gravatar and therefore it's pulled in my profile picture um, and you know we haven't got this page this little about me box linking to an extra page so we'll we'll go back in and do that i'm going to create a page and it's going to be about an about page okay and again i'll have some more text and i'm only going to use the words hello this is an extended about me page i'll put in a picture and i'll just use one of those pictures we uploaded before this one's got half a man and i'll say center aligned I'll publish this so now we have an you have an about me page so if I go back to the widgets and that user profile Genesis widget area it should give me an option now to link it to a page which it has so I'll say link this to an about me page and with the words read more and while we're here I'm also going to add this about page to the menu so before we made a custom about page but we can drag that out now because we don't want actually we have to click on it and go delete because we've got a real about page now so in pages we've got this page now so we'll add that to the menu and I'll save the menu So now we've got this about page link at the top and if you click on it it goes through to this post and also we've got this read more link now on this box and again if you click it it just takes you to the same page there is one widget area that we still haven't looked at so if we go back into our widgets and this is after entry widget box so just to show you what that does is we'll put, I'll drag a text box in there and I'll say call it 
Give it a title of this is after widget after entry widget area. No, see. This is some example text. I'll just save that. This is purely just to show you where this shows up on the site. So you'll see this actually doesn't change anything on the home page because it is a widget area that shows up on posts. So you see we've got our main text and then we've got this after content widget area and this could be very useful because you may want to put in a bio about you if you've written a good article you may want to show more information about you similar to what's here or you may want to put a send it to an email list or if you've got a certain product you want to talk about or promote or a service we could put it here so every time someone reads a post they can find out this extra information you want them to see here so it's quite a useful widget area so this is just what this one does and this is the site just about done you can see it's a fantastic minimalistic site but a really visually superb website that looks really professional and is completely mobile responsive just want to show you a couple of extra things to do with setting up this website and then you can go ahead if you choose to do so and experiment for yourself so if we go into the dashboard then we go to our posts and then I'll just click on this post to edit it. You'll see that the URL or the permalink of this post is this format. So I'm using a local host because I'm developing this on my local server. But if you're doing this on a live website, it will be www. instead of localhost. Dot agency pro, which is the name of the website or the domain name. And then it'll have a dot com or a dot uk after. But then we've got this forward slash and then we've got question mark p equals 41. And that's really not very helpful. And that's actually the ID or name associated with this post. And really, it'd be better to pull in the post title and put it here for both the user experience. They can see in the URL what the post is about. And also for SEO reasons, that means search engines such as Google or Bing can see or have a clearer view of what this particular post is about. So we can easily change this. We go to settings in the left hand list and then permalinks. And I will just open this in a new tab so we can come back to this post afterwards. And you can see when you do a fresh install of WordPress by default, it's got this structure here ticked, which has got the question mark P equals and a number. What you should do is go down and check this one here. It says use the post name. We'll save this. We close this now and go back to our post. And if I update this post, you see the permanent structure now uses the post name, which is a much better thing to do and is what you should do on your site. And also we want to have a look at the background image of this website. So again, if I visit the home page, by default, this theme comes with this great image of a laptop and a cup of coffee and some pens and paper. But your website could be something completely different. Perhaps it's to do with photography, for example. And way you can change this is if you go into customize here or if you don't want to use the quick links, you can go in appearance and we've got customize here. See, we've got all these customizable aspects of the site and some of these things can be found in other areas of your dashboard. But for this particular case, it says backstretch image. If you expand that, you'll see we've got this image here and it says fault image is 1600 by 1000 pixels. So if you, but you can use any size image here and a good rule of thumb is to use an image with a nice centrally aligned featured part to it because this will show up great in a website 
and when the website is shrunk down say for use in the smartphone we'll still see the central image but when you look at posts you'll notice that the main content covers most of this image so it's what's on the side of the image that appears so you can pick your image accordingly and I will just show you an example here so if I select an image I've got on my computer which is some pictures of some old cameras you'll see straight away how that background image has changed so I'll just save it and publish that and we'll go and we'll go back through to the website you see now I've got a completely different looking website with a great featured image on it and if you head over to the resources section on my website www.neilcurtis.me you will see a section of where you can get some great free images and this is a free completely free relatively free image that you can use on your website so if you go to my website at www.neilcurtis.me and go to my resources section you will see a link to where you can get great images yourself and then finally you'll see that all the links are this yellowy orange color and you can see it here and this is the color setup for this theme you'll see that we've got this yellow orange theme if you go to a post you'll see when it fades in it has this orangey color and the submit buttons orange and these links are orange and this is because this is a color theme that we the theme that we're choosing so if we go into customize again you see we've got colors here and that's the background color so it's not that but we've got color scheme here you see it's on the default one but then we've got these options here so I'll change this to red we'll save and publish this and you'll see straight away that when it refreshed it went red so now you see the buttons are red the links are red and if I go here when it refreshes you see you get this red coming through so that's an easy way to change the default colors of the website and as I said there are you can find these options in different areas so that customize if you go appearance and customize is a quick link to all the customizing aspects but we've got this genesis tab here and some of these options are also in this theme settings here so default layout you can choose if you want your post to be content and sidebar like ours is or you can have it the sidebar the other side or you can have two sidebars or full width it's up to you you can choose when you want to have breadcrumbs on your website or you want comments on your pages and if you go to the top you see here we've got this color scheme again so I'll change it now to blue and we can have a look see we've got this bluey color and the links are blue one final thing I want to mention and this is true for any Genesis product you buy for your WordPress site if you go to our posts just choose any one of these you've got your standard areas for your title and your content and your categories but with the Genesis framework you get these extra options for theme SEO settings and custom titles custom meta descriptions whether you want to index these pages whether you want links in the pages to be followed by search engines and you can choose individual layouts for each page so we'll make this one a full width and then you can add any scripts and things like that if you want and this is a unique to the Genesis framework and comes by default so it's a great feature and these SEO settings I'm not going to go into detail about SEO because this is not what this tutorial is but we can put in a custom title here that will show up in search engine results and is therefore much better for click-through rates etc if you have a good title so we put this picture of cameras on the website so this could be a photography website for example so I could put title of we could be targeting the keyword of 
take a perfect picture so that could be our title and we're targeting those perfect picture let's spell it correctly then we could have a meta description is this what shows up in google search results under the under the main title so again this is what users will see readers will see when they do a google search and if you've got a good description they can know what your post is about and they may click through because by default google may just pull in the first lot of text from your post but sometimes it's the date and an author and a bit of text that's not really relevant to the post so you can put some text in here and tell google what your page is about and show this to the people that look at it so for example it could be Okay, so I've just put a little bit of text here. Of course, you would think more about this, but I've put taking a perfect picture isn't hard and learn exactly what you need to do to achieve the best results possible. So you see, this will probably be something useful to the user who's searching for how to take the perfect picture and they may well click through because they've seen this. Okay, so I'll update this now. Then we'll just see any effects. You see straight away it's a full width post. Now we haven't got the sidebar anymore because we changed that. We've obviously got the blue links. And if we, if I minimize this, you will see that now the title of this post is learn how to take the perfect picture like we put in the meta description. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial, how to make this amazing agency pro style website and Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the top right corner of this video and head over to my website at www.neilcurtis.me and have a browse around and make sure you sign up to my email list then you can hear about anything new as soon as it happens. And remember that this theme is a premium theme by Genesis. It uses a Genesis framework and an agency pro theme because we aren't making a simple website here. We're making a professional standard website with a premium theme. So you have to head over there and purchase it if you want this. Or alternatively, you can join Webthena at webthena.com and you will get the WordPress installed with the Genesis framework and this premium child theme all ready for you to go.